Employees with the same roles in a company require the same transactional authorizations in SAP Business One because their tasks and responsibilities are the same. Assigning the same authorizations to users with same authorization needs is inevitable, however it also means a redundant effort for the administrator. Instead of assigning authorizations individually to each user, you can use permission groups in SAP Business One. Each permission group represents a certain role in the company and contains the authorizations needed by this role. Users which are assigned to a permission group will have the authorizations defined for this group. Permission groups can be easily managed and assigned to users in SAP BINS 19.1. In this example, the user Bill Levine will be added to the sales permission group. With this assignment, Bill will be authorized to perform all transactions which have been defined for the sales permission group. Let us now take a look at the authorizations defined for this permission group. Assigning transactional authorizations to a permission group happens in the same way as to an individual user. In this example, I grant full authorizations for AR invoice to the sales permission group. Now let's take a look at the authorizations of Bill Levine. You can see that Bill has read-only authorization for AR invoice through direct assignment. However, the effect authorization for AR invoice is full authorization. From the detail screen, you can see that Bill has received this full authorization through the sales permission group. Direct authorization assignment and permission groups can be used in combination to reach more flexibility. Permission groups allow administrators to manage user authorizations more easily and help them to save effort.